Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Legacy here. Today we are back with another unboxing video and today I got a new uh, entertainment system that I'm going to use with my projector if you saw in the last video I got and this one is the HT 865-00WM it's a Samsung Blu-ray 3D uh, audio system so it has a lot of features that we're going to go through and we're also going to unbox and test this so let's get right into doing that first let's get a look around the box so it's got Blu-ray and 3D like I said it's got seven different speakers two of the big ones two of the small ones there's a center one and then there's a subwoofer and that's the that thing right there is the the receiver for that one and that one the two rear ones because those are wireless and so are the subwoofers and it's smart this thing is a smart blu-ray player so basically you can get youtube and netflix and all those different apps like it says right here hulu plus and play videos wirelessly so that's pretty cool um it's got the audio is hd so it's got 192 kilohertz per 24 bit i guess or 24 bits don't know how to say that you can have multi-link um bluetooth power on so you can connect it with your phone wireless rear speakers smart hub wireless lan built in and multi-room link so this is a really nice it's already getting my attention i really like it already and i did get a sample of this at best buy before i bought it so it sounds pretty nice hd audio like i said let's look at the last side nice nice box <laughs> all right so let's get right into unboxing this thing all right guys so we're gonna grab our knife of i don't know opening boxes and get right into opening this thing Good old styrofoam packaging and everything we get. Okay. So first, we got something. Styrofoam. Something really packaged in styrofoam. So I'm actually going to just take stuff out of the box first and then we'll see what's in it. So let's just unbox this thing. So it says left. This is probably a speaker. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says left. Alright, so let's put this off to the side. Let's push this box over a little bit. I'm guessing this is the main piece. Oh, now it's getting heavy. I don't want to break anything. Alright, I'm gonna get this out of the box. And we'll get this opened up. Alrighty guys, the box is empty. We've got all the contents out. This is all that came with it. We've got this stuff. I don't know what it is. So we'll look at it later. I'm guessing, yeah, that's the remote. We've got a guide in there. We've got a cable. Wait. I don't know what you would need that for. So we got one of those. Uh, calibration thingy. And yeah, so we'll get into this thing at the end. Let's just open everything up first. Alright, so let's go to... Let's look at the mics first. So we're going to look at the subwoofer first. Just because subwoofers are awesome. And we're going to try to get in here without damaging anything with the knife of cutting boxes. Alright. 
Let's just get all this out of the way first. Alright, flip it this way. Hopefully you guys can see that. Get it out of the bottom styrofoam packaging. Get all the styrofoam out of here. And then, get this bag off. Half of it is nice packaging and the, uh, the rest of it is just plastic. Very nice. Phone calls. Alright. So it looks pretty nice already. Shiny, very shiny. And then you've got the actual speaker part on the side. I don't know why it's on the side, but it looks cool. Looks cool anyways. Packaging out of the way. I hope you guys can see that. Let's just get a closer look at it. Alright. Let's just twist it now. Looks nice. Let me get some light on it. It's a nice speaker. Nice subwoofer. Keep turning it off on accident. Alright, so it says that the speakers all have a thousand watts and it's per channel, so each each speaker has a thousand watts. So that's pretty darn loud because the one I have downstairs was, is Sony and it's 500 and it's pretty loud and it's pretty good. So this is much better than that. And also the Samsung 6 Series Smart Blu-ray player has 4.3 out of 5 stars on best buy at least and out of 126 reviews that's how many stars it has so that's pretty good on the research I've done that's how it is here's the back next nice. almost dropped it very bad all right so let's get right into the rest of the speakers get them opened up cops what the heck more phone calls. Alright, so these are the smaller speakers. They're pretty small. <laughs> Let's get the packaging off of them. Tapes everywhere. Put this tape back on. Alright. That's the back of it. There's the front. Get a better look at it. It's upside down. So the other one's exactly the same, so we're probably not going to open that. Just going to go straight up to installing that. That's the same exact thing. Put that off to the side. More styrofoam. Here are the rest of the three speakers. These are the rear, uh, the front ones. Those were the rear ones. You got two of these ones as well. They each got a thousand watts per channel. I really like this. Because you can also use the Wi-Fi on it to go on YouTube and stuff. Because the projector I have, it does not have apps on it. And hopefully this will make it better. So this is actually the center. Center? No, these are the left and right ones for the front. And for some reason they're facing like this. But that's how they are. There's the back. They're about, I don't know, a foot. A foot and a half. Something like that. So the other one's exactly the same. This one. Right here. It's a lot heavier for some reason. I'm guessing that's the center one. These are all different sizes. Oh, I see what I did. 
I did wrong. These are the left and right ones. They are much heavier. And they're supposed to face like this. And I'm guessing these things are going to be beautiful when they actually get to work. So that's that. This is the center one, which I already showed, but named it wrong. And then you got the other one on the sides. And then you got all the wiring for all of them. Got one, two, three, four little wire pieces. Let's get that out of the way. And look at the connector. The receiver for the rear wireless speakers. I don't want to have to undo that tape. Box cutter. Open that. Get it out of its packaging, which is really wrapped up good. So this thing's huge for some reason. It's really big. Samsung, once again, it's wireless. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says wireless at the bottom. Focus it. There we go. Wireless, Samsung. Here's the back with a really nice design on it. Bottom. Wire. Alright, so let's move on to the next thing. Which is... This thing. The wires. For the speakers in the back. So it's not technically wireless, it's just that you don't have to run it across from your Blu-ray player all the way to the back of your room. Here are the two cables. It's very blurry. The two cables. Packaging for them. Let's put them back in there when we connect it. We'll take those out. Packaging out. Now let's look at the main piece of this which is our Blu-ray player of the center console of all this, the mastermind of this awesome speaker set. Here it is, my friends. The monster. Try to lower it down a little bit. Alright, focus it, alright, so this is the front of it, it's got buttons here which you can't really see, wait yeah you can, if I can get it close enough, there we go, there we go, it's the front of it, there's your CD plug-in, again it says Samsung, Here's the top. This is Blu-ray 3D. Focus it. Here's the bottom. So this thing's really nice. I like the look. Especially that little circle down there. So you guys can see that. <laughs> Random design. Alright. So here's all the stuff that comes with it. You got your two side speakers, which are for some reason not standing still. Got your center speaker. Got your wireless for the back. Got your rear speakers. If I can find the other rear one. These are the wires for the rear ones. Wires for the front ones. 
the other one for the front. Get that unpackaged. Right there. You got your other one for the back. So that's the whole set. Oh yeah, and the, of course, how did I forget this? The main subwoofer. Alright, so that's your whole set. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> your whole set. You got your left, center, the right one hates me. Uh, the subwoofer, your your rear wireless connector, your main console, your left and right rear speakers, which are wireless, that connect to that thing at least. So that's your whole thing that comes with it. And then you plus, you got this stuff, which we're going to get opened right now. I can't even open a bag. Yeah, I can. Got your main plug. You got instructions on the main. It, it explains everything. If you guys need any more help, this is your final reference point. And then you got a booklet on it. You've got your calibration wire. Uh, I have no clue what's... Oh, look at that. They gave you a cloth so you can wipe it. A nice little rag. Got your... Oh, shoot. Really small remote. Looks really nice, actually. And then you've got some weights for wires. And the battery for the remote. Alright, so, I'm going to read some specs of this thing. It's a very nice unit. I like it already, so I can't wait to test it out for you guys. So this thing has seven speakers in total. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, the mo it's, it's the Samsung 6 Series Smart Blu-ray Home Theater System, and it's black, obviously, the color. If you guys want to see it in by yourself on the internet, the model number is HTH6500WM slash ZA. So you can look at this by yourself if you want. And then this thing has built in Wi Fi, which you can use for YouTube, Netflix, etc. So that's like, uh, Samsung calls it smart, smart capable basically. Um, you got two full range speakers in the back, which are wireless because of that thing. And then you got your three in the front. That one, that one, and that one. That's those are those are all full range. That is your center one right there. And then you got your subwoofer, which is that big one. Let's get a side on that. The big one in the back. Um so this thing also has 3D, which is really cool. So my projector that I'm gonna use it with that I unboxed in the last video, that already has 3D, so I guess I can I don't know. I'll, t I'll test this one too. Um, this thing has a warranty, luckily. It has a uh, one year for parts and one year for labor. So if anything goes wrong with it, you have a year to basically get it fixed or replaced or something. Um, and it has a max video resolution of 1080p HD if you use the Blu-ray player to play a disc of a move or a movie or some sort. It'll be a really nice thing for you guys. And I really like it. So it has 5.1 channels. It's got one HDMI input, which really sucks. And it's got a thousand watts per channel, which I already said. So that being said, this thing was $400 in total, and it was on sale when I bought it in Best Buy. And the regular is $600. So that's a really good deal. I got, and plus I got a little bit of discount for being a member. And that being said, let's hook it up, and we'll get right into testing it with my projector. 
Alright guys, so this is how I have it set up so far. I got my projector right there. I got the center center uh, speaker right there. The subwoofer right there. I haven't connected the wires yet, but I've connected the HDMI to the projector. And then I've got the uh, front. Front one's right here. One's right there. And then one's behind me right here. So I've done it like this because, obviously, since it's a projector, I can't really set it up perfectly at the moment just trying to get it all ready so you guys can see it so I'll set this up later on my own time but we can test it just for now and then you got the subwoofer down here and then the rest the other two I have set over here sorry <laughs> uh, one's right there on the other side of the room and then the center receiver the wireless receiver is right here and then I've got the other speaker so let's go back over to the speakers or the main main one so I'm gonna get this hooked up all the wires ready to go I have it all turned on but I'm gonna uh, get it all set up and then we'll get right to it all right guys so just a little tutorial on how to connect these things uh, you got two little terminals behind each speaker a red one and a black one and they're like little clip holder type things so you can Put, them, put the wires in by pressing this button and then you'll see a little slot open up and then you just stick the wire in there and then just let it go. So let's just do that right now with this one. Set the camera down. Grab the wire. So there's certain colors for certain uh, certain speaker. So for the center, center one it's this green color. And then I'll show you the rest of the colors on the back of the receiver. So let's just get this thing into the wire, or into the plug-in. Grab the red side, and put it into the red input. And grab the black side, and put it into the black one. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's how it looks when it's fully plugged in and ready to be plugged into the receiver. So, the receiver, right here, has it, has the rest of the connections on the back. If you guys can see these, right here. Let's just move all this. Uh, so there's three different colors. There's a dark purple. That one in that corner. Uh, there's a green, which is the center. There's a white and there's a red. So that's le uh, right, front, left front, subwoofer, and then the center. So let's get, let's just plug it in now. Hopefully you guys can see that. Right. Grab the green plug. Make sure the grip thingy, the grip, is on top. So just put it in, and then you have to push it hard enough so you can hear a click. I don't know if I'm even. All right. If you guys heard that, it's a pretty loud click, and you should know when it's perfectly done. So this is how it looks after all four speakers have been connected. Now we're just going to get the wireless one on the other side connected and then we're good to go. Okay guys, so we've got everything plugged in and ready to go on this side. And this light indicates that it's on. Right here, there's a link and a standby. So it's linked and it's ready to go. And we just got to connect it to the main receiver now. Uh, while we're setting it up, got both speakers ready got it plugged in and there's gonna be our projection screen so I don't have my screen yet once again we'll be I'll be getting in a week or so and we'll be ready to see that and I'll hopefully do a demo on that as well all right so let's go back to the receiver and get this thing set up all right guys so we are got uh, getting this set up now so it says this is a startup screen of this whole thing and then you have to, if you can see in the corner up there, there's one through six steps that you have to go through. 
to complete the setup. So let's complete the setup. Let's choose English. Alright. Choose a network. Put the password in. Alright. Alright guys, so I've got the password set in. I, sorry, I had to cut it out because the remote is really, really small. You can't really see it, but it's really the keypad is really small, so I have to it took me a while so I had to cut cut this part out. So let's hit done. It's connecting. The Blu-ray player is connecting to the network. You are connected to the internet. If you have any problems using online services, please contact your internet service provider. Okay, step number three. It went black. What happened? Oh. Your use of the Smart Hub service is governed by the Smart Hub's terms. Blah, 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 blah. I agree. Alright, I guess that's step three. Do you confirm that you have checked all of boxes that indicate you agree? Uh, yes. Go right. Left. Yes. Yes, I have. Alright, so these, this is the ratio. Uh, it explains it to you. So I'm going to keep full, just because. Normal mode, select the speaker, layout you want to install or have installed. Use this option when you have located the surround speakers behind you. Use this option if the surround speakers are located in front of you. My surround speakers are actually in the front just because I didn't want to run the wire so long up there. So I just kept it up there. I'm probably going to turn it around and switch it. So I'm going to keep it normal mode for now. It's going to sound weird, but I'm going to fix it later. Now there's an update. So let's just let that update. I hope this doesn't take long. Two minutes and 52 seconds. So I will see you guys when this update is done. Alrighty guys, so we are onto this screen, the next screen, which uh, after the update, that's what it shows. Um, let me see if I can focus it a little bit more. No, that's the best I can do. Alright, so this is the uh, insert. This. So it just explains the uh, the setup and what it is. Alright, so you got disk, Netflix, uh, multimedia, Samsung apps, blah 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 blah. Screen mirroring. Look at that. You can go straight to screen mirroring instead of playing it on my projector and doing screen pro uh, pro uh, mirroring there. I can do that on mine, on the player itself. So, um, how am I, where am I going to play? That's a multimedia. I have no clue what this is. These are images. Is that what it is? Let's go back. Yeah, they're just images. I don't know what this is. Go back again. Um, let me see if I can... 
screen mirror my phone onto this and we'll play something to test the sound. So I'll be back. Wait, actually. Let's just do it right here. Let me just get my phone ready to do this. Um, I will be back when I get this set up, guys. Alright, guys, so I've got a video ready from the screen mirroring thing. Um, this is uh, Avengers 2, so uh, the fight scene in Avengers 2. If this is spoilers, I recommend you don't watch it, but I guess just for the sake of testing this, I'm just going to play it and listen to the sounds which is pretty darn awesome i listened to a little bit of it so i hope you guys enjoy this here we go Together. So there you go, there's a test of the whole thing. It's pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's just one problem with screen mirroring is that it's really big delay. I don't know if that's a problem on my side with the network or I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't uh, forget to subscribe if this helped you. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys want another unboxing on something else that I probably will hopefully get. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want a 5% off no scope glasses, then do go down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe. Peace.